we will now create the thick pressure vessel in the mechanical APDL software. So we'll start by preprocessor and define our element type. It will be a two-dimensional model and we'll use the plane strain type model. So eight node 183 element. So that's reference number one assigned. Okay that and if we go to options we can actually choose what is the element behavior in the K3 option. So that's going to be plain strain. Press OK. And the next is to define the material model and structural, linear, elastic, isotropic and for steel 207,000 megapascals for Poisson ratio 0 0.3 uh, defines the material property and next we need to create our model and it is fairly straightforward we can create a few key points like first key point at 0, 0, 0 second key point at x equals 100 millimeters third key point at x equals 200 millimeters the fourth key point at x equals 0 and y equals 100 millimeters and key point 5 at y equals 200 millimeters so press OK so these five key points will allow us to create our arcs and lines and area that will be meshed with our plane 183 elements. So if you go to lines and go to arcs, go to by end key points and radius, and that allows us to select the end key points 2 and 4, for example. Press OK, and it now asks us a key point on center of curvature side. So the status bar at the bottom will tell us what it is asking for. So we'll need to click on key point one, click OK, and need to enter the radius here, and click OK to accept that. So that's our first arc, and we can create our second arc, key point three and five for the end key points, and key point one for the center key point, and radius 200 and press OK. And we can then apply two straight lines from 2 to 3 and 4 to 5 and that's the four-sided area completed. We can define an area using these lines so an arbitrary area through lines and we can click on these lines and press OK. So that's our surface area we are going to mesh and we can look at plotting the lines and if you're interested in numbers of these lines we can turn on key point and line numbers on and click OK. So line at 1 is the inside line, line 2 is the outside line etc. So that's the geometry defined we'll need to now create our finite element mesh and we can do that under meshing um, mesh attributes, default attributes, we'll use this particular element and material type etc. So we don't need to change anything here we can go to mesh tool and define some size controls so on this area we can define click the area a size control of let's say 10 millimeters press OK clicking this button raises the hidden dialog boxes so we will need to mesh the area we can choose to mesh it with quads and a map mesh if it's a complex area we might need to use triangles and free mesh etc so quad mapped should be fine for this particular four sided area click on mesh select the area and press OK. So that's uh, OK mesh and we can 
now go to our solution and define uh, the loads. By default, the analysis type is going to be static. So I'm not going to change that. And we can go to define loads and apply structural. Let's do displacements on lines first of all. So this line, we need to fix that line in the Y axis. So all the nodes on that line will be fixed in the normal direction to that line. And that's a symmetry boundary condition. We are doing a quarter symmetric model. We can do the same on line four, but this time fix them in the X direction. And I'm not entering a value here. That's effectively the same as entering a value of zero. So these nodes on this line are fixed in the Z direct in the X direction. And the next bit is to apply a pressure on the inside line. So we just need to enter a value here of one megapascals. So that now allows us to solve the model with the current load step and press OK. Solution is done. Next operation is to look at the results. If we look at the result summary, there is one solution set. And we need to read that results. Click on the first set. If you don't do that, that tends to cause problems. So make sure you read the first set. And we can do plot results. Uh, like deformed shape, deformed plus undeformed, press OK. So that's going in the right direction. We can do a V animation of that, plot uh, deformed shape, and let's OK that. And we can make that run a bit faster. So that's moving in the correct direction as we expected. And the maximum deformation is again uh, around a, a single micron, so fairly small displacement. Let's close that and we can plot some stresses and the important ones are the von Mises stress, apply that and the maximum value is on the inside surface 2.3 megapascals. First principle stress is the hoop stress and again on the inside surface 1.66 megapascals and second principle stress is the stress in the Z axis and that's due to the plane strain conditions and the third principal stress is the radial stress due to the internal pressure compression 1 megapascals on the inside minus 1 and 0 on the outside face so that concludes the mechanical APDL solution uh, for this six cylinder problem using the interactive system now the alternative is to use a log file and in the log file you can define the preprocessor, element type, key options, for example the plane strain option and material properties, the key point and arcs and lines and the area definition and meshing and then go on to solution with the boundary conditions and the pressure and uh, rerun the solution uh, results etc. Now if you wanted to change for example the pressure to uh, 10 megapascals we can do that easily on the log file we can copy all this and then copy and then paste into our input window and we can then see that with 10 megapascal pressure applied, our maximum internal stress uh, is going up to 23 uh, megapascals, as we expected.